So welcome to this part uh, regarding uh, simplifying fractions. So I've written down four example questions. And the question is, you've got to simplify, you've got to give each fraction in its lowest terms. And you've got to simplify it, which means to get rid of the highest common factor. Okay, now uh, perhaps put this video on pause first before you continue. Try it yourself, be wrong, nothing uh, wrong with that. Yeah, and then you can learn from your mistakes afterwards, okay? So I hope you've tried it. Let's have a look. 4 over 12, take out the highest common factor. Now, if you don't see the highest common factor straight away, you can do it in steps as well. That's fine, okay? Because 4 and 12, they're both even, so I know I can get rid of a factor of 2. Yeah, because I can divide 4 by 2, the answer of 4 divided by 2 is 2, and I can divide 12 by 2, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. Yeah, so 4 over 12 is equivalent, it's the same as 2 over 6, however, it's not the simplest form yet, because 2 and 6, again, I can divide both by 2, so 1 over 3. Yeah, so I've done it in two steps, but perhaps you, uh, you're a little bit smarter than I am, you saw, well, I can divide 4 by 4 and 12 by 4, and you went there in one go but there's no reason why you have to be able to do it in one step. Yeah, you can do that step by step like I do as well. Okay, 14 over 21. Well, 14 is even, 21 is odd. So they, they, they do not have a factor of two in common, yeah? Well, 14 has two, seven, I can divide by seven. What about 21? We have one and 21, three and seven. Seven, hang on a minute. 14 divided by seven is two, and 21 divided by seven is three. Two over three, do two and three have a common factor? No, they don't. Uh, yeah, except one, of course, yeah, but uh, they're both prime numbers, so two over three is the simplest form. Now, 45 over 20. Now, as you already uh, told yourself, yeah, hang on a minute, that is a top-heavy fraction, that is an improper fraction. So, we have to turn that into a mixed number, yeah? And again, I explained that in previous videos how to do that. 45 divided by 20. Well, 20 fits in twice, so I have two holes, and my remainder then is 5 over 20, yeah? But 5 over 20, that's a fraction I still have to simplify, because they share the factor 5, yeah? 1 over 4, 2 and a quarter, 2, 1 over 4, the mixed number, yeah? In its simplest form, you have to write a top-heavy fraction as a mixed number in its simplest form. Same here, 28 over 10, top heavy, improper fraction, 10 into 28, also two holes, and again, I explained this in previous videos in more detail, eh? two holes, my remainder will be eight over 10, and eight over 10, I can divide both by two, for instance, let's see, well, that gives me four over five, and four over five, Four and five, do they share a factor except one? No, they don't. That is my answer, okay? Simplifying fractions. Crucial that you do that because when you have a final answer and it's a fraction, you have to simplify it always, like I've just shown you, okay? I hope that was useful. I'll see you soon, hopefully. Have a nice day.